One of the things I'm a little bit concerned about is um, when it comes to countersinking the fiberglass. So I went ahead and I got this countersink that my dad gave me, and I countersink, uh, countersunk the fiberglass just a little bit so I could test how this looks in a countersunk hole in the fiberglass, which, so I can figure this out. There we go, sorry about that. Um, it fits in there quite well, quite flush, and uh, it looks like it will hold well. And when I was countersinking it, it did not make the fiberglass crack or anything like I thought it was going to. So I'm actually I'm quite happy that that didn't happen. Uh, the other thing I wanted to check out was um, the tops of my thin uh, metal part is going to be counter uh, dimple dyed, and that will go into the countersunk part of the fiberglass. So I t took a piece and I uh, I dimple dyed it of the same type of metal and I put it on here and inserted it into the countersunk hole and it fits very well. Um, I wanted to make sure before I actually try it on the airplane that it fits well and that it, that it kind of holds it in there and it does. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drive a, uh, a bare rivet through this countersunk hole into a hole because I want to see if it puts in how much pressure on the actual fiberglass itself. So I'm about to do that and I'll show you how it looks at the end. Okay, there it is with the rivet gone through and pulled. Uh, it did not make the fiberglass crack or stress too much either way. I didn't hear any creaking or stressing, so that was a big concern of mine. Uh, so now I know that I can go ahead and make the rivets uh, or pull the rivets without having any other concerns but I just wanted to double check beforehand so I don't want to hurt the airplane when I'm already this far. All right, thanks for watching.